Hi, Lou LaManna here with a brief disclaimer. The footage you are about to see, most of it, the footage from my shop was shot a couple of weeks ago, and Ethan had to leave right away to go back to school, so we didn't have a chance to edit any of it. The sound of the bass guitar when I was playing it on the Grateful Dead bass was too loud in the room, and it sounds like I'm playing through fuzz pedal. The bass does not sound like that. But just wanted to let you know, we tried to do better with the other one, and we'll see what happens. Okay, thanks. Here you go. Hi, everyone. Lou LaManna here my Cigar Box Guitar Building Workshop. Uh, thank you all for watching my videos. I appreciate it. Don't forget to share and comment. Finally got my bases done. Now, they're not cigar box bases. They're wine box bases. And I'll tell you what. it's a. You don't see a lot of people make four-string bases tuned like a regular bass. It was really hard. It was really hard. The wine box is so thin and flimsy that you almost have to fill it up in, with solid wood on the inside to make it stable enough. These were a very challenging, challenging build. I had to get a special template to route where the pickups go, order special bridges. <clears throat> but I'm really happy with the way this turned out. This is for uh, my friend Stash, who's a Grateful Dead fan. And he gave me that sticker for the headstock. I didn't paint it. I got, you know, purple pearly dots. This is uh, this is the first neck I ever made that I tapered. It's actually wider up here and it, it narrows it down here. It's a very nice feeling neck. It's got light flat wound strings on it. And, uh... Now, those of you who watched my last video, you got a little sneak peek at this one when it was still a bass banjo. This neck, I made a bass banjo out of with a chrome snare drum that was way too heavy. So, at Christmas time, my brother-in-law Mark gave me this wine box with wine in it. Thank you very much. And I decided to put this neck on it. Again, it was very difficult working on these. This one... It took me a week and a half to solve a grounding issue where the plating that was on the bridge was not letting signal pass through and so grounding the bridge did absolutely nothing and I still had a string buzz you know not a buzz buzz but a grounding buzz and it took a long time to figure out it was the coating the gold color coating on here that was preventing the signal from going through but anyway uh, the the box inside is almost from here back almost solid wood Just so that all the pressure of these this bridge and these strings doesn't crush this flimsy box but It's bass Turn up the... very happy with this um, 
it came out nice. It's a lot lighter than it used to be. I don't mind holding on to it. This neck, I've always liked this neck. I, I, I don't even remember the guitar this came. This is a reclaimed neck. It was off an old $50 bass I think I rescued off of a wall of a bar one time. But I just always loved the feel of this neck. And uh, when I made it a banjo, I did this pattern of the dark and light frets on it. And I always liked this neck. So this will be a usable bass if I do some recording with my cigar box guitar bands. This will be my bass. Okay, well, that's my wine box basses. Uh, they were very challenging builds, and I highly recommend you try to build one. Just make sure you allow yourself ample time, and you need a lot of patience for the trial and error that will drive you crazy. But it's definitely worth it in the end. If I ever record a cigar box guitar album, guaranteed this will be the bass that I'm using on it. Um, that's going to be it. Until next time, I have... Five new instruments I started on my workbench. I'm going to try and do five at once. I've got three three strings, a four string, and a long neck ukulele for various people and music stores. And a couple of them for actually for me. I built so many of these, I don't even own a three string cigar box guitar. It's a sin. I know. So I have to make one for me that's mine to play around with. And, uh,. Hopefully by the time school's out and Ethan comes home, we will have another video and we'll be giving you an update on those five. Maybe they'll be done by then. I'm shooting for it. And until then, I'd like to say thank you to all my usual suspects, Mike Amato, Ben Baker, Shane Spiel, Del Puckett, everyone else who makes videos. I love your videos. Um, please like and subscribe and share. Let's get the word out about Cigar Box Guitars. They are totally amazing. So, until next time, this is Lula Manis saying goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>